Hi everybody, Steve Sandy here for Apple World today. You know, we don't cover a lot of items that aren't Apple related, but uh, this one's a little bit different, a little bit fun. Now, uh, I live in Colorado and we do a lot of grilling of meat and uh, vegetables and anything grillable. Uh, here in the state. In other words, uh, it doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees out in the middle of summer or if it happens to be, uh, you know, 14 below in the middle of winter. We're usually out with our uh, barbecue grills uh, doing something. And they can get pretty disgusting looking. Uh, so I heard about this wonderful new product called the Grillbot. Uh, first heard about it during CES 2017 and decided you know, that sounds like something that our readers would absolutely love to hear about. So uh, take a look while we take a glance at the Grillbot. Now this is what the Grillbot looks like. As you can see, it's uh, not that big. That's my hand compared to it. And uh, we've got a little uh, display on here. Just shows battery power and how long it will run. Uh, there's a button right next to it that we push to actually set the time 10, 20, or 30 minutes. And the uh, big thing are these nasty looking uh, brass brushes that are on the bottom. They're pre installed on this device. Cool thing is, you can also get uh, nylon brushes, and I think they even have stainless steel ones, uh, depending on uh, what kind of cleaning you want to do of your grill. Now let's take a look here at how bad my grill really is. And here's my disgusting grill. We're going to take a close look at it. You can see there's all sorts of junk. Uh, some of it's down below, but the surface is even uh, pretty bad. And when we get over to this area, you can see that there's even some uh, rust on certain areas, probably due to the humidity out, outside uh, that we get on occasion. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty grotesque. I do clean it off uh, usually just enough to uh, be able to grill some stuff, but uh, it needs a good cleaning. So we're going to give it a try here. Now I am going to need to close the top of the grill immediately after I start this up. Uh, that's one of the requirements, and of course it would run off the front of the grill if I let it uh, do it on its own there. So uh, let me just get this started, and then we're going to close this guy and come back in 30 minutes. There's 30, 30 minutes, and here we go. Looks like the outside of the grill needs cleaning too. And a little over 30 minutes later, here's what we've got. Uh, to me, <laughs> at least, uh, the person who normally uses this grill, I can see that it's much, much cleaner. Uh, in some places, it actually ground the uh, rusty areas down. So uh, basically, I think I need a, a new uh, set of grill grates. And then I can start using this thing on a regular basis to keep this absolutely shiny clean. But uh, definitely did a good cleanup job on this grill.